Hi everyone, it's Richard McMahon here, and in this presentation, I'm gonna teach you how to pass mechanical comprehension tests. Um, I'm the founder of howtobecome.com, the UK's leading career information and advisory website. Um, during this presentation, I'll also tell you where you can get this brilliant download PDF so you can try out more tests. So I'm gonna give you a few tests in the video, give you some tips on how to pass the kind of questions that you'll come across, and then I'll explain where you can get this PDF to practice more tests with. Okay, let's get straight into it. So mechanical comprehension or aptitude tests, they've basically been in use for many years now as a method for assessing a candidate's potential to perform a specific job in a certain way. So predominantly they're used in careers which require an ability to work with or understand mechanical concepts and the kind of careers that you might be required to undertake this type of test are train driver, um, driving careers, like basically practical careers, armed forces jobs, engineering careers, emergency services, motor mechanic, the list goes on. So those are the kind of um, jobs that you're required to undertake these kind of tests, okay? This list is not definitive. You, you may be required to do them as part of an education exam, but this um, video will certainly help you. Okay, and also an aircraft engineer. So maybe in the Royal Air Force, the Royal Navy Fleet Air Arm, the list goes on. So let's take a look at some sample questions and then I'll tell you where you can download the great mechanical test PDF to try some at home. There's also one question I want you to have a go yourself um, in, a, in a second, question number two, and then you can put your answer in the comments box below. So question one, this is a kind of mechanical comprehension test question. In the following cog and belt system, which cog will rotate the most number of times in an hour? Now, it doesn't matter whether it's one hour, two hours, three hours. The question is basically which one will rotate the most, which one will go round the most times in an hour, okay? And the answer is cog B. And the reason for that is the smallest cog will always rotate the most number of times. So it's a really important tip, take a note of that. In this cog, in a cog type system, the smallest cog is always gonna rotate the most number of times in a set period of time, okay? So it's cog B. Now what you have to do is read the question really carefully. This is an important tip because it says the most number of times. What if it said rotate the least number of times? And, you, and there are variations of questions on mechanical comprehension. So you need to look out for that. Read the question really carefully. Let's have a look at question number two. Now in the following cog and belt system, which cog will rotate the least number of times in 30 minutes? So what I want you to do is to give your answer to this question in the comments box below. So put your answer in the comments below and say which one um, will rotate the least number of times and, and give a reason for your answer. So just explain based on what you've learned so far. My tip is read the question carefully, okay? So you answer this yourself in the comments box below, below the video in the following cog and belt system, which cog will rotate the least number of times in 30 minutes. And remem remember what I've told you about the period of time. Is it relevant or isn't it relevant? And let me know in the comments below. Question number three. This is a different kind of mechanical comprehension test, okay? And it's based on leverage. Which rope, A, B, or C, would require the most effort to pull the mast over? And the answer is C, okay? Now, it will be easier to pull it down with rope A, but the one that requires the most effort to pull the mast over is C. Question number four. Now, you are looking at the following object side on, okay? So read the question. You're not looking um, from top down. You're looking side on exactly as we're seeing them here on the screen. Which is most unstable and likely to topple first? So, if you think they're all the same, then please choose F for your answer. So which is most unstable? And obviously the answer there is D. That's the one that's most likely to topple first if we're looking at them side on. The, if it, the, the question might say, you're looking at the following object side on, which is the second most unstable? So read the question, or it might say, which is the most stable? And in which case the most stable, I would suggest, is number C. The second um most unstable would be, in my opinion, B, okay? And then E, then A, and then C, okay? Question number five. Now, this is where we get into sort of cog type questions. If bar A moves to the left, which way will bar B move? So what you have to do is you have to, first of all, understand 
clockwise and anti-clockwise. Okay, really important. You've got to understand clockwise and anti-clockwise. Now, most of you will understand that this, some people won't. So clockwise is, as it suggests, moving the way that the hands of a clock would move, which is round to the right, anti-clockwise, or sometimes counterclockwise, as it is mentioned, would be moving to the left. So the easiest way to remember clockwise and anti-clockwise is to think of the way that the hands on a clock rotate. And that's why it's called clockwise. So if you think the hands of a clock will rotate to the right, that's clockwise. Um, going the other way is anti-clockwise. And basically, if you're in the USA, then sometimes they refer to anti-clockwise as counterclockwise. OK, so clockwise and counterclockwise. So let's go back to the question. So if bar A moves to the left, which way will bar B move? So bar A is moving to the left, which means that also, if you think of it in your mind, that large cog first directly underneath the teeth of bar A will also move to the left. The one to the right of it would therefore move clockwise. The one to the right of the smallest one would be anti-clockwise. And the one at the bottom would move clockwise, which would mean that bar B would move to the left also, the same as A. OK, so what I'd like you to do now I want you to practice more of these yourself. So click the link below this video right now and you can get this mechanical comprehension test guide. You can download it as a PDF and practice like hundreds of questions. There's loads of more different ones. I'll give you tips and advice in the guide as well. It's a PDF so you can download it or you, you can even get the hard copy sent to you in the post. But Click the link below the video and get that guide. Guys, I'd, I'd also really appreciate it if you um, give the video a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Say so you've liked it, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to give your answer to question number two in the comments box below. Thanks very much for watching and um, yeah, head over to that website right now, howtobecome.com, where you can find out more. And also, if you want to learn how to become a train driver, join the armed forces, be a firefighter, there's tons of resources on that website. Just click the link below the video and we've got loads of free stuff for you. Thank you very much for watching.